Hey, how's it going everyone? This is why I am here in today's video I finally got one of the lenses that I've been looking for. This is the 100 to 400 Finally found a really good deal I'm gonna go ahead take it out and check it out to see how good the used lens is because I got it at a really good bargain price But we won't know until we actually try it out So I just got it all unpacked. Here's the lens right here. This is the 100 to 400 or the 35 millimeter equivalent would be a 150 to 600. So definitely a very powerful zoom lens. Cosmetically speaking, it looks to be in really good condition, but you don't really know until you get out there and try it out. So I'm out here right now testing my new lens that I just got, which I got for a bargain. This lens, the 100 to 400, I got for like, I think it was $850, which that is super cheap. And that is a price that you just don't normally associate with this lens, which basically means that there's probably a flaw in this lens. So that's why I'm out here testing the first day I got it is because I want to see if there is actually a flaw to it. I know optically speaking, it's been really good. I mean, I don't see any issues with it optically. Uh, mechanically in terms of focus it seems to work just fine I've been tracking a lot of wildlife it seems to work just fine but I think there is something wrong with the zoom mechanism I think eventually sometimes it gets stuck and it's one of those things where I have always been a big proponent of buying used lenses because it saves you a ton of money and these things you normally don't really get rid of as opposed to camera bodies which you kind of cycle through it on a one or two year basis and when you get a good bargain sometimes you really have to go out there test it out to make sure that number one it works properly because you just never know I mean let's face it all of these retailers for used equipment they're there to sell you used items and if there's a flaw they might not you know try to deceive you but they just might not point it out to you and when there's a lens that comes out that's super cheap like this one I mean it looks really good right and I'm kind of hesitant to say that it's going to be a good lens until you go out there and try it that's why almost all of them will give you at least a three to like two week grace period in which you're trying out your lenses and you should definitely take advantage of that fact if you're going to buy something used you definitely want to test it out make sure it works out for what you want now the point that's kind of interesting now the interesting thing would be that if you actually found something that's used but it's at such an amazing price which is pretty much this lens right here if you do find a flaw with it are you okay with keeping it with a flaw and for me most of the time for me I'm okay with keeping a lens so long as optically it's still fine it focuses just fine if it's just some sort of mechanical thing in which I can live with I will definitely keep the lens especially lenses that are really hard to find because there are a lot of lenses out there that really just don't come up used very often and this is kind of one of these lenses where if you actually find it uh, at a relatively good price you might end up you might want to keep it for a while because they are expensive you know it's just one of those deals for me I've bought plenty of equipment over the years and some of them I found flaws in them and I kept them anyways and for the most part it's worked out well for me has there been instances where it hasn't of course you buy enough used equipment you're going to get a lemon somewhere along the way but I'm usually okay with some technical flaws or some physical flaws for this one if it's just the zoom ring kind of sticking sometimes that's perfectly fine at the price point that I got it from I'm perfectly happy with that now say if I bought this lens for around $1,200 or $1,300, I would not be okay with that flaw. That's not something that I would want to keep. But if I'm going to save another $400 to have a minor flaw, that's something I'm okay with because I am choosing that flaw in exchange for a discount on the price. And that's something that I'm testing right now. Now one thing that's super annoying is if you can't reproduce the flaw. Like I know it sticks sometimes, but I'm trying to figure out how it actually sticks or when it does stick it feels like there's a loose part in here and I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for me to anticipate it or if there's a way for me to just not have it happen and uh, so far it's been a little bit elusive but I'm actually kind of having fun using the lens it feels good in hand the focusing system all the images that I've been seeing so far has been really good so I've been happy with it 
Another thing to think about is how often you're going to be using these lenses because this one is a very specialized lens for me. I'm probably going to be using it anywhere from 8 to 15 times a year so it's not very often it's a very specialized lens for me and I'm probably going to always have a backup with it so if it actually fails on me I always have a backup it may not be the best backup but I'm definitely going to have something with me so basically what I'm trying to say is you do have to be cautious when you're buying used equipment out there you can save a whole lot of money but you definitely need to do your due diligence test it out thoroughly and make sure you can actually live with any flaws that you find because a lot of equipment out there, they can be very good, but occasionally you will find that super bargain, but you really need to vet it to make sure that it's actually good, or if you can actually live with the flaws. For me, somebody who's been doing this for quite a while, I don't mind living with a few flaws, so I'm really happy with this purchase, and I think I'm just going to test it out a little bit more, make sure everything works, and then I'll probably keep the purchase and see how it does in 2019.